Last year, Ingrid Lindblad of LSU almost won it as she finished third in the event. The leader after two rounds, who was tied with Rose Zhang, she finished one stroke out of the playoff on Sunday, and she is back this year playing in the women's amateur again. She's a terrific player from LSU, and we're proud to have her on the show. Ingrid, how are you? I'm good, thanks. Um, you know, I'm very excited to get back to Augusta and play this year again. What was that experience like, Ingrid? I mean, first, you know, somebody that probably never thought they would have the opportunity to play where the men have arguably the greatest tournament in the world have now created this incredible opportunity for for women to play the game too. What was your whole mindset like that week being able to achieve that? Um, you know, it's a lot like except for the golf, like outside of the golf tournament. And I was just trying to have fun. And then the second I had a great back nine. So that made me too, uh, made me the leader of this, like after the second round. And that was just really cool. Like it was just overall a really nice experience, like the golf and like the whole event itself. And, and of course the first two rounds are at champions retreat about 15 minutes away from Augusta national golf club. How that's a bit unique, right? To compare to compete on two different courses and courses that aren't on the same piece of property that are so far away from each other. How what is the preparation like to get ready for this event? Um. Well, I heard that like you need to be able to hit like both a fade and a draw, and it's really good to have like a high ball flight. Um. But overall, like if you just play your own game and try to shoot a low score, like you can really be up there. And you saw that last year, like. You could like it was a lot of players within like just a couple of shots. Yeah, they're, they're, and it's it's very different playing like two different courses. Like you play a practice round, and then you play two rounds, and then you play another practice round. It's a whole it's a whole different format. It certainly is, but as you said, you had tremendous success in it last year, Ingrid. Of course, you're originally from Sweden, came over to the states to play for LSU. What does someone from Sweden think of Augusta National Golf Club from so far away? Um, most people in Sweden have only seen it on TV. And, um, I mean, I had only seen it on TV before, so I was very surprised about, like, the layout and, like, what the course looked like. And most people in Sweden, like, not, ne no one has been to Augusta. So it's, it's really just hard to, like, describe the experience because it's very different from what you see on TV. And it's different in it's so incredibly hilly. I mean, that's what most people say, right? Yeah, it's hilly, and just, like, there's not a bad spot on that golf course. Like, it's just so green, and, like, it's so perfect. It's well said. That's exactly right. Well, what was it – what were your emotions like, your nerves like, as you're competing down the stretch, trying to get into the playoff, trying to win the tournament, as compared to – any other collegiate tournament that you played in or last year when you won the ladies amateur championship, what are, what are the emotions like playing in this event compared to those? Um, to be honest, like the last round, I feel like I was more nervous on like during the range, like during the warm up, than I was actually on the first tee box. I was just like, this is it. Like, here we go. And then I kind of just try to play my own game during the round. And Yeah. <laughs> Do you think those nerves are because of where you're playing the tournament? Yeah, and like going out in the the last group at Augusta, that's not something you do every day. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, no, it isn't. But you played so beautifully and, and came so close. So the obvious question this year, Ingrid, is there's one thing left to do, right? Yeah, it's just to go win it. There we go. And <laughs> and not only are you going there representing LSU, you have a teammate that's joining you? Yeah. Uh, Latana Stone from Florida. Um, she came in based on her world rankings, just like me. Um, and I'm super excited to have her there uh, to share the experience with the teammate because I know they watched it on TV last year and they cheered on me. So I'm happy our team gets to cheer on two of us this year. Ingrid, just uh, try to tell everybody listening what the Augusta National Women's Amateur means to women all over the world. Um, it means a lot like it's a course you never get to play and you don't have access to and just them inviting us to play it it's 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 amazing and last year I wasn't really sure how big it was but then 
I kind of realized during the week like how big it was. Do you think this event and the drive, chip, and putt are increasing the interest level, not only for girls, but for boys, too, all over the world? Yeah, I do think so. Like, it's it's very special, like, just to be there and um, to compete with other people who have the same goal. And to do it at Augusta, it's kind of special because it's a place you've always, like, you've seen it on TV, you see the Masters every year. And then when you actually have the opportunity to go there, it's, it's just incredible. Well, you've already had a spectacular collegiate career. You came so close last year. We wish you all the best in your junior year at LSU as you compete collegiately. But we can't wait to see you at the Augusta National Women's Amateur, which, by the way, Ingrid, is broadcast right here on Sirius XM. We can't wait for that. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> Very cool. Ingrid, uh, thank you so much for your time, and uh, congratulations on all your success so far. Thank you. Thank you for having me.